Uh, so, if you're a parent like me, if you haven't gotten this question yet, believe me, you will. My son asked me today, he said, Dad, have you ever done drugs? And, you know, on one hand, you, you, know, you want to steer him in the right direction, but on the other side, you know, you want to be honest with him. So, I looked at him, I, I, I told him the truth. I said, son, when I was in college, I did experiment with marijuana, maybe two or three hundred times. <laughs> but, you know, I, I hate that word experiment, you know. It, it, it's such a cop-out word. I mean, they always use it for, for the bad stuff, you know. I experimented with drugs, or I experimented with homosexuality. I'm, I'm not saying that I experimented with homosexuality. I'm just using that as an example. <laughs> you, you never hear people use it for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the good stuff. No, seriously. It's just, I'm just it's an example. No. They never use it for the good stuff, you know. Oh, I experimented with dieting, or I experimented with uh, a savings account. You know, they always use it for people to actually legitimately use the word experiment in their everyday, you know, workplace, you know? If you're a scientist, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm working at Los Alamos and I experimented with radioactive isotopes. No one took the face, no one took me seriously. It's just a bad word, so please, just, just be honest with it, you know, I use drugs, whatever. Another drug term I hate is drug habit. I mean, that's such a harsh word, you know, you sound so addicted, you know? I prefer to, you know, I prefer to call it a, a drug hobby. You know, it's like, you know, like, like, like collecting stamps or, uh, uh, or building model airplanes. Actually, it was building model airplanes that got me into my drug hobby in the first place. And my poor parents, you know, I mean, they were like my unwitting suppliers. You know, they thought I was just being industrious, you know, with all these models I was making. You know, they were just keeping me supplied in glue the whole time. And, you know, they had no idea. By the time I was 15, the student in my room looked like, you know, the History Channel during Sweep Sweep. Just, just that kind of like, hey, Anyway, so uh, I'm in a, a mixed marriage now. Um, she's a Giants fan, I'm an Angels fan. Actually, actually, truth be told, she is a Giants fan, and I am so not getting laid tonight after they lost, because it's my fault that she wasn't there to root the team on, so uh, I'm gonna get slapped at. Now, anyway, uh, I'm Jewish, and, and she's Catholic, the, uh, the two great guilt-based religions. You know, uh, she gets hers from the church, you know, I get mine from my mother. She made a confessional, you know. I mean, uh, you know, there she gets forgiven for her sins. You know, my mother, you know, she does not forget. <laughs> you know, I mean, the priest does not call up the house on a Sunday night and say, "So, you still married to that Jew?" It just, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> anyway, here, here's a tip, by the way, it, it, for those of you, because I, I do go to, to, to mass every once in a while. Uh, here's, here's a tip. Actually, two, two tips if, if you're going to uh, to a mass service. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, bring a Game Boy. Because uh, they're really long. Um, secondly, uh, when the when the collection plate comes around, it's really uncool to try and make change. So uh, bring bring small bills. You know, think, think like you're going to a strip club. You know, just lots of singles. Guys wearing really like lots of singles, not the five dollar bill. You make a show of it. You slap it down. Make sure people know you're paying your props to God right there. Also, uh, one of, one other thing, uh, a big difference I, I found out about the church and the strip club thing. Um, the, the, the confessional, not the VIP room. So I mean, if you want to go in there for special, you know, one-on-one -on -one God action, you, know, you can insert your own lap dancing priest joke in here yourself. I'm not going to go there. And I kept slipping dollar bills through the slot, you know, making wishes, but it just, just didn't work out. So we're coming up on the big, uh, sort of the big schism between the two religions. You know, of course, Christmas and Hanukkah is what I'm referring to. And basically, it's like the coolest holiday ever, Christmas. And it just, you know, this suck, you know, holiday called Hanukkah. <laughs> Please don't let Jews fool you to think that Hanukkah is like a cool religion in a holiday. It's just, it just blows. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, for Christmas, you know, you got Santa Claus. He comes and gives you presents, guilt-free. And, you know, for Hanukkah, you know, your mother's like, how come you're not wearing that sweater I gave you? You know, I paid good money for that. I mean, there's no ma I mean, Santa Claus doesn't call up and say, how come you're not playing with that fire engine I gave you? You know, it, it, it doesn't work that way. And also, uh, you know, you, you know, Jews try and, you know, try and brush over how lame Hanukkah is by, you know, saying, well, that's for eight days, you know. Yeah, that, that's great. You know, you know, first date, okay, sure, you'll get the, you know, the total control racing or, you know, model airplane. Uh, but, uh, you, know, you know, the rest of the seven nights, socks and underwear, you know. And they got to they gotta spread it out, too. So it's like second night, you know, sock. Singular. Oh, thank you. I wonder what I'm going to get tomorrow night. Also, okay, well, one other thing about Hanukkah, you know, many people don't know this. I'll, I'll impart some, some Jewish wisdom on you. 
The well, reason it lasts eight days um, is that it, when they, uh, in the original story of Hanukkah, uh, the old temple gets destroyed, and they had this oil there that they used for you know, the everlasting light, they had to keep it burning, and all the oil was destroyed except enough oil to last for one day. And then a miracle happened, and the oil lasted for eight days. That's not a miracle. I mean, it's a good value, and I can see why they made a big deal about it. But it really kind of cheapens the word miracle, you know? I mean, here you have birth of the Savior versus essentially good gas money. Thank you very much.